Hey guys, um, Basil here, uh, sometimes referred to as Havoc Rocket. I'm actually uh, making a video for a new channel that I made here called Techno Talk, which is, uh, I know, probably one of the stupidest names you've ever heard, but um, I'd <laughs> you'd be surprised how many channels there are on YouTube and how difficult it is to uh, find a good name, but it accomplishes what I needed to accomplish. Um, I decided to make this as kind of like a tutorial channel for uh, different things. I'm planning on probably sometime down the line doing some tutorial videos for After Effects or Premiere, um, possibly Sony Vegas, stuff like that. But um, as of right now, I'm going to be doing Java tutorials, and that's uh, actually programming, um, writing code, and uh, it's actually something that I recently got interested in. And I'm obviously, I'm not, I'm no master, I'm not the best at uh, programming, but it is pretty fun, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and get into it. Uh, so here I'm using Eclipse. Uh, this is a project I was just working on, um, long code, oh my god, it's actually a program that can calculate your average in a uh, school class, probably could have been shorter, but if I was better, probably could have made it shorter, but that's not, that's beside the point, my point is that, um, alright, so, <laughs> I'm going to be doing a tutorial in Java, this is going to be the first tutorial, it's going to be Hello World, which you may um, know about, you may not, it's a really common first tutorial, um, the thing is that a lot of people get who are really new to programming get some things mixed up. Java is not a program. It is not something that you download off the internet. Um, Java is a programming language. I could open up text edit right now if I could know how to type text edit right now or notepad in uh, in uh, Windows and I, I could just start typing away and um, I'd be able to run it as a Java program. Uh, the thing that I have um, downloaded is Eclipse. This is actually the program that just makes it easier. This is uh, probably there's, there's there's different programs that you can use um, to write Java code, JavaScripts. Um, uh, excuse me. Uh, the two that I know that are probably the best are JCreator and Eclipse. And I think Eclipse is probably a really good one for beginners, simply because it highlights errors for you as you make them. For example, here if I uh, delete the semicolon, because in Java all things end with a semicolon, we'll get there in a second. If I delete it, it'll be like, oh, you made a mistake, and it'll tell you um, syntax error, insert semicolon to complete local variable declaration statement. So it'll tell you what to do. So it's really good for um, beginners because it, it tells you what you're doing, and also you don't need to go through all the time of like compiling and running and everything, because when you run it, it actually just displays it for you um, down here, down below. It doesn't uh, open up command prompt terminal or anything like that. It doesn't actually execute the file. Um, so that's what we're going to be working with. We're going to be working inside of Eclipse. So even though you don't need to download any um, external software to use Java, I'm going to be working in Eclipse, so you might want to download it. Um, it's free. So just go to your browser, and uh, it's going to be www.eclipse.org. Not .com, .org. And it's going to give you this, and um, I'm no Eclipse expert. I don't really care that much. But here you'll see download Eclipse, and you can download different packs. I don't even know. I think it's this one. I'm not sure. Eclipse IDE for Java developers. Just download it. I kind of just picked up something random and downloaded it, but uh, you want for Java, definitely. And it's it's an IDE, so uh, yeah, I, I think it's just the first one. Go ahead and download that. But once you do, you will have a uh, program that looks like this. This will be empty because you won't have a project open. But uh, <clears throat> Uh, excuse me. So once you have that, we're going to go ahead um, and get started in this. I want to make it as short as possible. We're going to create a new project. So you just like right click out here. Say new Java project is what we want to create. And um, we want to call it Hello World. It's going to be our first project in Java. And hit finish. And here it creates this project. I have all these other projects here. You can just ignore those. And we're going to right click on it and say new class. Now, for those of you wondering what a class is, um, first off, let's just name this Hello World. Um, Java is an object-oriented program, which means that everything is done in uh, objects or classes, and all objects and classes have properties and methods. Ugh. Excuse me. So as of right now, what we're working with is we're working with just the main method of, um, of our class, and our class is Hello World. So... Here, when you're given this window, in Eclipse at least, it'll give you the option uh, to check this, um, the method stubs. And I don't think it even, wait, if I delete this, I don't know, uh, let's uncheck this, see what happens. 
Um, so it'll give you public static void main string what are that it's I'll get into that in a second but that pretty much is declaring your main method and if you do that it's gonna give you a class with the main uh, uh, excuse me God it's gonna give you the name of your class and it's gonna give you your method it's gonna give you some extra information you do not need but I would like to start from scratch because this is something you can do in Eclipse but if you're writing this in Notepad or something then you're obviously gonna need to know how to do this yourself so we're gonna just delete all of this we're gonna start from scratch now because I already created my class technically in Eclipse and I called it hello world when I'm naming my class in my in my code I need to also call it hello world so we're gonna start by naming our class the way you do that is you start by saying public class and then you put the name of the class and then open brackets and it'll give you a little end bracket for it and uh, basically what this is doing is it's just it's just creating the class there's really the, nothing else to it it's the absolute most basic step there is in Java is just learning how to create a class and learning how to create a method and the method we're actually going to be using is the main method um, which you would create by saying public static void main string the open parentheses string and then that um, open and close brackets, and then args args, and then of course you would need little squiggly brackets again. And um, by the way, in Java, everything that you do, every block of code, you need to make sure you have the squiggly brackets. Indenting, you see me indenting here. That's the same thing. Indenting really doesn't mean anything. It's um, the brackets that show you what is happening. So it's basically saying that everything from this beginning bracket to this end bracket is going to be contained inside of public class hello world and everything from this bracket to this bracket is going to be contained within the main method public static void main and all this stuff right here um, you don't need to know what this means right now you just kinda of have to memorize it and uh, if you're using Eclipse which I hope you are then you don't even need to memorize it because you can choose the option for it to in, um, import it for you now uh, let's go ahead and get started there's really a couple um, the, the absolute most basic so pretty much everything that you're gonna be writing inside uh, the main method is gonna be your actual code what your program is actually running and um, I'm kind of paranoid there and the absolute basic that it's gonna get is just text output and that's what we're doing right now in some program programming languages it's as simple as just saying say well not in Java in Java they make everything long and complicated for no reason so there's another thing you just kinda of have to remember it's gonna be system dot out dot print line open parentheses and uh, close parentheses and uh, you don't need to have the line this ln <clears throat> right here is telling it to print a line if you just had print then it would it would pretty much give you the same thing as if you have one line but then if you were to um, like make another output it wouldn't go to the next line it would just uh, continue on that line so this is if you wanna write two different lines in your actual programming like this Ah, I hate messing up and typo errors, and it would just be contained in one line. Um, but you're most of the time you're going to be using print line, so just use ln. And then inside of your brackets is going to inside of your parentheses, sorry, is going to be what your program is outputting, what it's going to be saying when you run the program. Um, so none of this, none, nothing else would show up. That's kind of the point of a programming language, except what you decide you want to show up. So. Um, if you just type in hello world in here, it's not going to say hello world because uh, it's only going to recognize, um, well, it's only really going to say things word for word if they're in quotations. So you have to put little quotation marks and say hello world. And then um, now you see there's still an X on this line. It's because everything in Java ends with a semicolon. Semicolon is a way of kind of ending a line in Java. It's just the way it works. And you're probably wondering, oh, these didn't have semicolons. It's because these aren't um, lines technically. Oh, I don't really know how to explain it very well. Um, I'm sure that others could explain it better. But this is beginning a block. It's, it's containing everything in between it, just as this is containing everything in between these two brackets. It's not really the same. You kind of just have to learn that. Um, but most things are going to end with a semicolon. Whenever you're declaring something, whenever you're saying, all right, this is this, you're gonna have a line, a semicolon. So this is you're saying this is going to print hello world semicolon. You're you're laying your ground, and that's gonna work. And if we hit run up here, um, it's we hit OK. It's gonna run. It's gonna output hello world, 
and that's pretty much it. And then, of course, you could anything you put in here, it'll say. You could say, what is up, my homies? You would be racially insensitive, but it would be racially insensitive, and it would work. It would say, what up, my homies? So that's the way you do it. And uh, there's so much else I want to talk about, but I'm going to leave it for another tutorial. This is tutorial one, Hello World. I hope you guys learned some stuff. Um, in the next tutorial, I hope to talk about data types and variables. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.